We all have big dreams and goals we desire to reach, but the path to achieving them isn't always smooth. It's like climbing a mountain. The higher you aim, the more challenges you'll face. But one of the toughest obstacles might actually be inside of us. Our own feelings and emotions can sometimes hold us back, like a strong wind pushing against us. If we let fear, doubt, or anger control us, we might give up before we even start. That's why it's so important to learn how to manage our emotions. And that's exactly what Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher called for. He argued that we should acknowledge our feelings, but not letting them make all the decisions. When we're in charge of our emotions, we can navigate the tough parts of the journey and keep moving towards our dreams, no matter what obstacles try to stop us. In this video, we'll explore what Marcus Aurelius teached us on how to manage and control our emotions in order to achieve our goals and most importantly, live a happy life. Marcus Aurelius' reign was tumultuous, marked by plagues, wars, and internal strife. Yet amidst the chaos, Marcus stood as a beacon of stoic calm. Stoicism taught him to focus on what he could control, his own thoughts and emotions. While enemies posed threats and plagues swept through the city, Marcus trained his mind to remain unwavering. He wrote in his personal journal, the meditations about mastering his fear, anger, and grief. It was his armor against the storms of leadership. Through his writings, he discussed a set of principles that can help us control our emotions. Number one, accept reality as it is. Aurelius saw that life is full of unpredictable events, many of which are beyond our control. What we can control, however, is our reaction to these events. This perspective invites us to focus on our inner attitudes and responses rather than trying to control the uncontrollable. Practicing the principle of acceptance can have a profound impact on how we handle our emotions. When we stop trying to control everything around us and start accepting things as they are, we reduce the tension and frustration that comes from fighting against the inevitable. For instance, if you plan to be outdoors for an activity, but suddenly the weather changes and it starts raining, instead of getting angry or upset, accepting the situation can help us stay composed. We can adapt to the circumstances by finding an alternative plan or enjoying indoor activities, turning an unexpected change into a more manageable and stress-free situation. When we acknowledge that some situations are outside our control, we free ourselves from the burden of trying to change them. This shift in mindset can lead to a more peaceful and less anxious state of mind, which is essential for mental well-being. Number two, develop self-awareness. Dig deep within yourself, for there is a fountain of goodness ever ready to flow if you will keep digging. In this statement, Aurelius asserts the importance of understanding and managing one's own mind and emotions. Self-awareness, as Aurelius suggests, involves a deep and continuous examination of our thoughts and feelings, and recognizing our internal processes and how they influence our reactions and decisions. Practicing self-awareness can profoundly impact our emotional well-being. By becoming more attuned to our emotional states, we can better understand the triggers that lead to negative feelings, such as anger, frustration, or anxiety. This understanding allows us to manage these emotions more effectively. For instance, if we find ourselves feeling angry in a particular situation, self-awareness helps us step back and ask ourselves why we are feeling this way and whether our reaction is helpful or appropriate. This pause and reflection can prevent impulsive reactions and enable us to respond more calmly and rationally. Also, self-awareness plays a pivotal role in breaking cycles of negative thinking and emotional responses. Through mindfulness and engaging in practices such as meditation, we can deepen our self-awareness. Marcus Aurelius provides a notable example of this through his personal journaling and reflective practices. Just as he journaled his thoughts and emotions in what is now called meditations, we today can benefit from similar introspective exercises. This principle can be applied in various scenarios, whether it's in personal relationships, professional settings, or handling life stresses. By practicing self-awareness, we can recognize when our emotions might be leading us astray and adjust our mindset accordingly. This also will help us in developing a deeper understanding of ourselves, leading to more meaningful and fulfilling interactions with the world around us. Number three, learn to focus on the big picture. Marcus Aurelius once said, how beautifully Plato put it, whenever you want to talk about people, it's best to take a bird's eye view and see everything all at once of gatherings, armies, farms, weddings and divorces, births and deaths, noisy courtrooms or silent spaces, every foreign people, holidays, memorials, markets, all blended together and arranged in a pairing of opposites. This quote discussed the concept of cognitive distancing, 
which is a strategy for gaining perspective on our lives and worries. It suggests that by mentally stepping back, we can view our personal concerns as just small parts of a much larger picture. Imagine looking at life as if it were a huge landscape filled with a variety of human experiences, happiness, sadness, chaos, and tranquility. When seen from this wide perspective, our individual problems often seem less overwhelming. To do this, one useful method is to imagine looking at our situation from an outsider's perspective, similar to how a friend might view it. This involves pretending that we are giving advice to someone else who is experiencing exactly what we are. By doing this, we create a mental separation from our own emotions and problems. This detachment allows us to think more clearly and logically about our situation. Consequently, we're likely to feel less overwhelmed by our emotions, making it easier for us to manage stress and make better decisions. This approach helps in reducing the intensity of our feelings about the situation, thereby aiding us in dealing with our concerns more effectively. Number four, live a virtuous life. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This statement encapsulates the stoic belief in living a life grounded in virtues such as wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. In Stoicism, virtue is considered the highest good and the foundation of a meaningful life. Embracing these virtues in everyday life can profoundly influence our emotional well-being. Practicing wisdom allows us to approach situations with clarity and thoughtfulness, reducing impulsive reactions driven by our emotions. Courage, in the Stoic sense, enables us to confront fears and difficulties with a calm and steadfast mindset. This bravery in facing life's challenges can foster emotional resilience, helping us to recover more quickly from setbacks and maintain a positive outlook. Justice in our interactions promotes ethical decision-making and builds trust and respect in our relationships. It creates a sense of fairness and empathy, contributing to a harmonious social environment and inner peace. Lastly, temperance helps us maintain balance in our emotions. It teaches us to exercise restraint and moderation preventing extreme reactions, and promoting a steady and peaceful state of mind. So practicing the stoic virtues can lead to better emotional control, ethical decision-making, and a sense of inner peace. Number five, embrace change. The universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. The stoic philosophy, as taught by Aurelius, views impermanence as a fundamental truth of life. Everything around us, including our feelings and experiences, is in a constant state of flux. Embracing change can profoundly impact how we handle our emotions. Recognizing that our feelings are fleeting helps us avoid becoming overly attached to specific emotional states. For example, when experiencing moments of sadness or frustration, remembering that these feelings are not permanent can help us maintain a balanced perspective. It encourages us not to dwell excessively on such emotions but to view them as passing clouds in the sky of our broader emotional landscape. This understanding of impermanence helps us develop emotional equilibrium. When we accept that both positive and negative experiences are temporary, we can appreciate the good moments without clinging to them and endure the challenging times knowing they will pass. This balanced approach reduces the intensity of emotional highs and lows, leading to a more stable and serene state of mind. Also, this approach teaches us to live more fully in the present, Rather than ruminating on the past or worrying about the future, we learn to embrace the current moment, making the most of our experiences while they last.